running here. I'm on it. What do you wish you knew? So this week we're talking about relationships and all that fun, crazy and awkward stuff that happens in middle and high school. And so I guess my question is, what is, or what are some things that you wish you would have known in middle and high school about relationships and crushes and, and all that goes along with that? Yeah. A lot. Um, I am not the most highly qualified person to probably be talking about this because I didn't talk to boys until probably my junior year of high school. Um, frankly, they scared me a lot. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot I wish I would have known, I guess. But uh, the first thing I think I wish I really would have known, and it hit home for me um, in college, which I can explain in a minute, but one of the biggest things is realizing that God cares about my desire to be in a relationship someday. To, and I had this desire to get married someday, to have a lifelong partner, someone who could guide me towards Christ, who was like also cute, you know, you want that. Um, and so for me, it was something that like, I guess I understood in my head, but hadn't really saturated in my heart that like God cared about me and he cared about what I wanted and what I desired. Um, and that that can play itself out in middle school and can play itself out in high school. Um, one of the biggest verses that kind of ties this together for me um, is Psalm 37, which says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Um, that was something that it actually was like my verse in high school, like under my... Um, like each senior got to have a quote under their picture and that was my verse that I chose to put um, as my senior quote and I don't think I really fully understood what that meant that that my desire should be God's heart first and that he cares so much about me and if my desire is him he will not only give me himself and and save me from my sin but he'll also care for me so much that he'll um, be able to work through me and work through my life to do good things for me. Um, God does good things for people. In high school, again, didn't talk to boys until about junior year when one of my friends got a boyfriend and then we kind of started hanging out with that boyfriend's group of friends. So like finally the guys and the girls groups were starting to mesh and we were starting to talk to boys, which was scary but exciting. Um, and there was one boy I had a crush on for a long time and finally Senior year, he asked me to be his girlfriend. So, so exciting. I got a boyfriend, plus he was one of the two boys that my mom said I could date because she was a teacher at my school. And she was like, if you're gonna date, but I don't want you to, date these two guys. And he was one of them, so I figured we're good. Um, and he was, he was a really good guy. But then college hit, and he went to a college about four hours away from me, and I went to Bethel University which is a private Christian school, and there were all these cute guys there, and most of them loved Jesus, which is just very hard for a girl who hasn't talked to boys in forever. Now there are tons of hot guys around who love Jesus, and it's like, jackpot, this is amazing. Um, and so I started to kind of struggle with like, oh my gosh, there's all these great guys around here, and you kind of start comparing that to the relationship you have and seeing um, what you need in a person and realizing what um, what's going to be best for you. And then one day in chemistry class, I was having a really hard time, so I went to the tutor session area. And this tutor came up, his name was Jordan, and he started helping me with my homework. And then we had physics together, so we started doing physics together. And we just started to talk a lot. And he was so easy to talk to, and there was just something different about him. And I started realizing that I kind of started having a crush on this guy. Oh no, you shouldn't have a crush on a guy when you have a boyfriend that you're committed to that you've been dating for over a year. Um, and so I really started to struggle with what should I do. And 
I was like, well, it doesn't really matter what I do because, like, even if I like him, he'll never like me. He's so out of my league, so it doesn't really matter, which was stupid because it does still matter, but I was immature and didn't realize any better. Um, and so I was like, oh, the crush will just go away. It'll be fine. Well, then I realized that he liked me. He told me he liked me and that he knew that I had a boyfriend and he's like, what's going on here? Why do you hang out with me all the time, but you have a boyfriend? And so I just really started praying about it. And I was like, God, I have no idea what to do here. I really need a clear answer because if any of you guys know me, I'm not the greatest at making decisions. And so I just prayed. I was like, God, I really need a clear answer, like a clear answer. And so I met with one of my mentors. Again, the importance of having mentors in your life, very helpful. Um, and I talked to her and I just explained to her this whole situation. And she goes, man, Kate, I really think you should break up with your boyfriend. And I was like, oh, okay. That's pretty direct and straightforward. And then later, um, just a couple minutes later, this random woman came up to us. We were in a coffee shop and she goes, I'm sorry, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. And I really think you need to break up with that guy. I went through a similar situation myself and I didn't break up with him and later he broke up with me and it should have happened a long time ago and now I'm with like the most amazing guy who points me toward Jesus and just like supports me through really tough things. And I just like, she was just like, I'm sorry I like interrupted, but I just really felt it was on my heart to tell you. And when she said that, I was just like, started crying and I realized it was just like, okay God, like I see you, clear answer, I needed that. Um, and then like a week later, I broke up with my high school boyfriend and started dating Jordan and now we're married. So it worked out well. But the whole point of that story is that number one, God cares enough to, um, to point us toward the people who are going to help us point other people toward Jesus. He knew that, um, a desire in my heart was not only to be in relationship um, be in a relationship with a guy someday, but also to have that relationship be one that is going to glorify him and honor him. And my old relationship wasn't doing that. Um, it wasn't pointing me um, toward Jesus. It wasn't making me deeper in my faith, but my relationship with Jordan was. And second, he cares enough about us and knows us so well that he will give us the answers that we need. And so sometimes that means a really clear answer. And for me, that's kind of what it meant um, was that he, you know, gave me that clear answer that I really needed. A second thing that I wish I would have realized was just to be patient in high school and middle school. Like, middle school relationships, what even is that? Like, you're like, oh yeah, we're dating, but what does that mean? Do you just hold hands? Your mom drops you off to the nearest movie theater and you like hang out? Like, I don't get it. Sorry if you're in one, but just it confuses me. Also, middle school is a really good time, I think, to practice showering every day, practice wearing deodorant so you smell good, and practice talking to people. Like, guys, like get a good group of guy friends and practice talking to girls, practice saying nice things to them, holding doors open for them. But maybe you just don't go the next step because I don't think in middle school you've really developed who you are yet. You don't really know exactly the person that you want to become and I would hope that middle school is a time where you can develop who are my core friends, who do I want to be, and and figure out who are you looking for. What, what are the characteristics and qualities of that person that you might be looking for? Sure, put cute and hot on that list, that is just fine. But also, you need to be looking for some more depth because trust me, people, have you seen your parents and your grandparents? Like people get old and wrinkly and they change and they look different. So you need some sustenance, something more that will last longer. Again, in high school, I didn't talk to boys and I it was hard to be patient. It was hard to wait when all the other girls were hearing, oh, so-and-so likes you. And I heard in fifth period that you know, this guy's got a crush on you. And that was hard when I never heard that about me. It's hard to be patient and to wait and to realize that God's got something bigger and better planned and that it's okay to just like be in the moment and it's okay just to like have my girlfriends around. It's okay to 
you know, to wait a little while. Figure out who your friends are. Like, your friends are the ones who are gonna be there for you and they're gonna be the ones who know your character and are able to say, hey, this guy is the person you told me you wanna date. This is, he's got the right qualities. Or they're gonna be the ones who are gonna call you out and be like, why are you hanging out with this guy? He is nothing like the person you said you wanted to date. Um, so I would also just make sure and say, have great friends that are able to kind of give you the advice that you need. So practical advice I think I would give myself in high school and middle school would be, um, talk to God about it. Talk to God about your heart's desires. Talk to God about relationships, about that boy that you have a crush on, about, you know, is this someone I should be pursuing or not? Um, talk to people at church about it. I didn't really hear a lot of people at church talking about it, so I didn't feel like it was a place that I could talk about it. And so I just want you guys to know that this is a place where it should be talked about and it can be talked about. And um, it's a safe space to literally just like lay it out all on the table and explain like your situation, what's going on, what you're feeling. And then the last one is know the character qualities of the person that you want to be with. Whether that's writing a list, telling someone else, what are the core values of that other person that you need um, to have a successful relationship.